What's going on everyone? Today we're going to cover MIUI 10 or MIUI or MIUI, however you want to pronounce it, the skin that Xiaomi uses. That's what we're going to cover today. We're going to talk about why I think it's the best Android skin on the market, especially on big phones, and compare it to some alternatives, specifically MIUI version 9 and Samsung's Experience or TouchWiz, whatever you want to call it, version 9.5, which can be found on the Galaxy Note 9. Quick disclaimer before we dive in, my wife and I recently got a puppy. If you hear him making some noise in the background, I do apologize, but when I put him in his cage, all he does is whine as soon as he hears me talk in the other room. So this is the best alternative I could come up with. Let's go ahead and dive right in though. So this is a Mi Max 3. I'll be doing a full review of this here pretty soon, but I've been using the MIUI 10 ROM on this phone for the past couple of weeks. Yes, it is a custom ROM because MIUI 10 is not officially available. Let's dive right into settings here real quick to show you guys. It's by uh, Xiaomi.eu. That's the people that make the ROM. I mean, it's pretty much just standard MIUI 10. Maybe some additional little optimizations here and there, but nothing major. And you can see I am running the 6 gig variant of the Mi Max 3. Now, the biggest thing with MIUI 10 that I like a lot, if we jump here into recent apps, look how well it utilizes the screen space in my recent apps menu. Now, a couple things you can do here. Obviously tap the app to jump into it. You can double tap the recent button to go to the most recent app as well. If you long press an app, you can lock it to where if you clear all notifications or all recent apps, I'm sorry, it won't clear it. Uh, you can split screen it right there in the middle or down there at the bottom. You can push on that and it'll bring you into the permissions of whatever app that is and more specific settings there. Now to clear apps, you just swipe left or right, you know, doesn't matter which direction or which side it comes up on, that's how you do it. But I think it utilizes the big screen really well there. Now you can also use gestures, but at the bottom you'll see that I have the gestures turned off. I got the hard, the soft keys there at the bottom. If you watch my previous videos, you know that I don't like typing the spacebar on the keyboard way down there at the bottom of the screen, especially on a big phone. All right, next. Sliding down here from the top, here's what the notification shade looks like. Now, I will say the camera makes this look a little bit washed out, but you get the idea. Five across, pull down again, you get the four by three grid. Kind of an iOS style. I think it looks really clean though, personally. I really like what they did with the brightness slider there at the bottom. It's always there at the bottom. So I think of that is pretty cool myself. Next, for volume. You change the volume a lot on your phone if you're anything like me, going into meetings or whatever throughout the day, you know, change the volume a lot. So when you push a volume key, you see this there at the bottom, which you can slide right there at the bottom. You can immediately silence your phone, which I think is super handy and a very smart thing to do. And then if you hit the triple dot setup, it jumps into the full volume controls like you'd expect on Android. Uh, just looks different and I think operates a lot better, looks cleaner, where you can adjust, you know, music, alarm and your notification volume also immediately silencing or jumping into do not disturb so those are the three big new ads for me uh, mi ui again however you want to say it version 10. i really like the way the volume stuff works i really like the recent apps uh, i guess one final thing here and i've lost it now since doing this video let me pop into my spotify and just start playing a song here real quick just to show you what the player looks like so on the lock screen, this is what the player looks like. It's pretty consistent. Again, kind of that iOS look, love it or hate it. Doesn't, doesn't really make a difference to me whether you love it or hate it. I'm just trying to show you what it looks like. I opened up my podcast app to show you. It's, it's pretty consistent throughout. I mean, a little bit different controls between apps, but it looks pretty much the same. Even sliding down from the notification bar on the home screen, it's, it's a consistent theme throughout. Uh, one thing I don't like, just like Android Pie, when you try to slide from right to left, you can't clear the notification. You can go into some additional things. You have to slide from left to right. It is what it is. <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's something Android Pie is kind of introducing. But yeah, those are the big new things with Mi UI 10. Now, I will be doing a review of this Mi Max 3 here soon. You can see I got a bunch of grips here on the back because it's a massive phone. But like as promised, let's go ahead and look at some other variations of Android skins. So this is me UI 9 and I haven't been using the mix for a little bit as you can tell by that slew of notifications there at the top. Um, recent apps, this is how it functions on me UI 9. Sliding down from the top, it's Xiaomi. You can apply a bunch of different themes. So I've actually got a me UI theme, version 10 theme 
on my Mix 2S. So not the greatest example with the notification shade, but recent apps slides in from the right side, kind of like the opposite of Android Pie, which I really hate, by the way. Now, let's jump into the Note 9. And I have a lot more content on this phone coming very soon as well. Recent apps functions like it does on Android 8.1 currently. I mean, it's fine. It really is. It's just not as nice on a bigger screen phone. They could do better, in my opinion. Um, sliding down from the top, that's a really tiny... Oh, there he is. There's a troublemaker. <laughs> sliding down from the top, I mean, it's not just not a great use of screen real estate, in my opinion. That's tiny. i got to reach all the way to the top of the phone there to get to that. Not a fan of that. Now, if I hit play really quick here, just to show you what it looks like on the lock screen, well, maybe not. Come on, Samsung. Don't let me get flagged for some DRM stuff here. There you go. I mean, again, it looks fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It looks fine. Just I don't prefer it personally. Maybe you do. This is pretty subjective stuff. Uh, diving into the settings here. I really hate what Samsung's done with their settings. I had some trouble finding even my battery usage statistics on this thing um, versus how it looked on the Xiaomi again. And then a notification shade, you know, pretty standard over here. Different look here on the left with the Xiaomi on Mi UI 10. And then volume stuff. So again, typical Android. There you go. Now when I slide down from the top, you'll see I don't have my brightness until I slide down a second time. I'm not a fan of that, but it is what it is. Samsung made their decisions, so did Xiaomi. Now one last thing, guys, to tease you with the uh, future content on both these devices. 6.9, 18 by 9 aspect ratio. 6.4, 18.5 by 9 aspect ratio. Let's just see the size comparison here. I mean, the note's not really the note, in my opinion. It's too small, but it is what it is. And again, this is a Samsung Galaxy Mega. This is a 16 by 9 display, 6.3 inch screen. The phone doesn't really work anymore, but again, just to show you a size comparison. 18 by 9 you can really cram a lot of screen into not a lot of body on the phone so just to tease some future content guys but anyway thank you so much for stopping by the channel and taking a look at my video question of the day what is your favorite android skin and why do you like the samsung experience because of some of the extra stuff they give you with the s pen or something like that do you love stock android just to have no bs in your skin or is there a skin that you like like me like you feel gives you a lot of extra functionality and use for what it is. Let me know in the comments below. I'll try to reply if I can. Dog's over there causing problems again. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll catch you in the next one.